Ki Jai, this confounder Acharya Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai, Grantarad Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai, Gaur Premananda, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to Sri Sri Guru and Garanga, glories to Srila Prabhupada. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 19, The Appearance of Shukadeva Goswami, Text 30. Sa Samritas Tatra Mahan Mahiyasam Pramarshi Rajarshi Devarshi Sangahai Yarochatalam Bhagavan Yatendur Kraharksha Tara Nikarai Paritaha Sasamritas Tatra Mahan Mahiyasam Pramarshi Rajarshi Devarshi Sangahai Varochatalam Bhagavan Yatendur Graharkshatara Nikarai Paritaha Sasamrita Statra Mahan Mahiyasam Pramarshi Rajarshi Devarshi Sangahai Varochatalam Bhagavan Yatendur Graharkshatara Nikarai Parita Sasamritas Tatra Mahan Mahiyasam Brahmarshi Rajarshi Devarshi Sangahai Yarochatalam Bhagavan Yatendur Graharkshatara Nikarai Paritaha Vaishnavis. 
Saha Shri Sukadeva Goswami Samritaha Surrounded by Tatra There Mahan Great Mahiyasam Of the greatest Bhamarshi Saint among the Brahmanas Rajarshi Saint among the kings Devarshi, saint among the demigods. Sangahai, by the assembly of. Vyarojata, well deserved. Alam, able. Bhagavan, powerful. Yata, as. Induhu, the moon. Graha, Planets, Riksha, heavenly bodies, Tara, stars, Nikarahai, by the assembly of, Paritaha, surrounded by. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Translation. Shukadeva Goswami was then surrounded by saintly sages and demigods, just as the moon is surrounded by stars, planets, and other heavenly bodies. His presence was gorgeous, and he was respected by all. Purport. In the great assembly of saintly personalities, there was Vyasadeva, the Brahmarshi, Narada, the Devarshi, Parashurama, the great ruler of the Kshatriya kings, etc. Some of them were powerful incarnations of the Lord. Shukadeva Goswami was not known as Brahmarshi, Rajarshi, or Devarshi, nor was he an incarnation like Narada, Vyasa, or Parashuram. Yet, he excelled them and respects paid. This means that the devotee of the Lord is more honored in the world than the Lord himself. One should therefore never minimize the importance of a devotee like Shukadeva Goswami. Om Ajnana Timurandasya Gananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasudhi Gaur Bhaktivinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So in this purport, Srila Prabhupada is emphasizing the position of the devotee of the Lord, who is respected to an even greater degree than the Lord himself, according to this purport. So, on this topic of devotees, I'm going to say a few things. Basically, I'm going to be preaching to myself because I don't properly understand and respect the position of the devotees of the Lord. So, 
<clears throat> Ramananda Roy was a great devotee of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <clears throat> and, you know, he was engaged in the government of King Prataparudra, who was the king of Arissa, who resided in Jagannath Puri. And this king, Prataparudra, he had desired an audience with Lord Chaitanya, but Lord Chaitanya refused to give him an audience. But uh, <clears throat> Lord Chaitanya had asked Ramananda Roy to give up his government position and come to live with him in Jagannath Puri. So Ramananda Roy approached the king, Pratiparudra, and made his request to him. And the king was very happy to grant the request. He was happy to render some service to the devotee of Lord Chaitanya. <clears throat> so, Ramananda Roy came with King Prataparudra to Jagannath Puri. And he went to see Lord Chaitanya and Lord Chaitanya asked him, oh, you've come. And Ramananda Roy said, yes, it's King Prataparudra. He very kindly granted my request to give up service in his government. And he's given me a full pension. <clears throat> and He's a very great devotee of you also. He's very humble. He desires to serve you and please you. And Lord Chaitanya told <clears throat> Ramananda Roy, because he has rendered respect and service to you, a devotee of the Lord. The Lord Krishna will be pleased with him and accept his service. And in a sense, he was saying that he himself, of course, he was the Lord himself, but he was playing the role of a devotee. So he, he said, yes, the Lord, because this King Prataparudra has served and honored and respected my devotee, I will accept him also. And Lord Chaitanya began to recite some verses, you know, in praise of the devotees of the Lord. He recited one verse from the Padma Purana. Ye me bhakta jana partaha, na me bhakta chate janaha, mad bhaktanam chate bhaktas, ye me bhakta tama mataha means, Krishna says, he who says he is my devotee is not my devotee, but he who says he's the devotee of my devotee, I accept as my real devotee. So that verse is also cited by Rupa Goswami in his Lagu Bhagavatam Ritaha. And Lord Chaitanya also recited 
famous verse spoken by Lord Shiva to Durga. Aradhanam sarvesham Vishnu Aradhanam param Kasmat Parataram Devi Tadiyanam Samarchanam means Lord Shiva is telling Durga of all forms of worship, worship of Lord Vishnu or Lord Krishna is the best. But even better than that is worship of the Lord's devotee. <clears throat> so in the 11th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, Uddhava is being instructed by Lord Krishna. And Lord Krishna says, Mad Bhakta Puja Padika means it is better to worship my devotee than to worship me myself. <clears throat> so this idea that one approaches Krishna through his devotee is very prominent in the teachings of Gaudiya Vaishnavism and our Acharyas and Srila Prabhupada. <clears throat> Lord Chaitanya himself said, Gopi Parta Padakamaliyar Das Das Anu Das. I am the servant of the servant of the servant of Lord Krishna, the Lord of the Gopis. So the devotees of Lord Krishna, they first approach the most perfect devotee of Lord Krishna, Srimati Radharani, to get her mercy. And she's always very willing to recommend a devotee to Krishna. <clears throat> so this idea is, is there that one should approach Krishna by respecting and honoring the devotee of Lord Krishna. You know, Srila Prabhupada said, sometimes it's said, Love me, love my dog. So, the devotees of the Lord who wish to approach him, show their love for Krishna, do it by first showing their love for Krishna's devotees. <clears throat> Vidura said to Maitreya in the third canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam, Durapa hialpatapasam seva vaikunta vartmanasu. <clears throat> so, Durapa means difficult to obtain. Hialpatapasa, those who have little in the way of austerity. It's difficult for them to attain seva vaikunta vartmanasu. Seva means the service. Vaikunta vartmanasu means the devotees who are on the path back to vaikunta. <clears throat> so it's a very rare that one actually even becomes qualified to get the association of the devotees of the Lord. So every morning we're praying, we're paying our obeisances to the devotees of the Lord. Vansha Kalpa Taribyascha, Kripa Sindhubyevacha, Paditanam Pavanabhyo, Vaishnavabhyo, Namo Namaha. 
So, <clears throat> like I said, I'm preaching to myself because I may say that, but I don't know if I really properly understand or appreciate uh, what I'm saying. Hopefully one day I will. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Lord Chaitanya also says, Trinare pisa nechena, torara pisa ishnana, amanina manadena, kirtaniya sadahari. That the devotee of the Lord is humble, <clears throat> desires no respect for himself, wants to pay all respect to others. And it's described there are different levels of devotees. There are the Kanishta Adhikaris, the Madhyama Adhikaris, and the Uttama Adhikaris. So the Kanishta Adhikaris, they just see Krishna in the deity form, but they have no real understanding or respect for the devotees of Lord Krishna. They just think, oh, there's Krishna. Devotees, I may not like so much. <laughs> the Uttama Adhikari sees everyone as a devotee of Krishna except himself. It's a very advanced stage. But the Uttama Adhikari comes to the level of the Madhyama Adhikari or the middle class of devotee. Prema Maitri Kupopeksha Yaskaroti Samadhyamaha. So, the Madhyama Adhikari makes distinctions. He understands, here is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna. Let me love, show prema, love to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And for the devotees, he makes friendship with them. To the innocent non-devotees, the Madhyama Adhikari shows mercy by preaching to them, trying to introduce them to the path of devotional service. And for those who are envious, the Madhyama Adhikari avoids them. <clears throat> so, the Madhyama Adhikari must show this respect to the devotee of the Lord. And mostly, Srila Prabhupada explains this in terms of approaching the Lord through the service of the spiritual master, the bona fide representative of Krishna. <clears throat> so, Many times, Srila Prabhupada explains that, that this das, das, das anudas means approaching Krishna by serving and pleasing Krishna's representative, the spiritual master. Yasya prasada bhagavat prasado. Yasya prasada nagati kutopi. <clears throat> One should try to please the spiritual master because by pleasing the spiritual master, one is pleasing Krishna. And therefore, 
for the disciple, the spiritual master is considered to be on the level of Krishna. But on occasion, Srila Prabhupada would offer some insight into the actual attitude of the spiritual master toward the disciple. In 1972, in October, in Vrindavan, Srila Prabhupada was giving a lecture on the nectar of devotion, Rupa Goswami's Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. He was saying, the spiritual master sees the disciple as his spiritual master. <clears throat> And in New York in 1966, in a Chaitanya Charitamrita class, Srila Prabhupada said the same thing. The spiritual master, he sees his disciples as his guru, his spiritual master, because he sees them himself as their servants. Sees Krishna has sent me these disciples so that I can train them, so that I should train them. <clears throat> and therefore I am their servant. And he said, my spiritual master, Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur, when I would offer my respectful obeisances to him, he would reply, Dasos me, I am your servant. So, this is the position of the devotee of the Lord. This means, as Srila Prabhupada says here, this means that the devotee of the Lord is more honored in the world than the Lord himself. One should therefore never minimize the importance of a devotee like Shukadeva Goswami or any devotee of the Lord. <clears throat> so I'll stop there. Any questions or comments? Garanga Prema. And sometimes he's called Bhagavan also. So, but in the purport today, in today's words, Shira Prabhupada, he was saying that uh, Sri Sugat Deva Goswami, he's even excelled a uh, great devotee like Nanda Muni. So, I'm just wondering in what way, you know, Prabhupada was saying like that, you know, can you explain it a bit more about this? Um. <clears throat> In this particular situation, Krishna especially wanted Shukadeva Goswami to speak the Srimad Bhagavatam 
to Maharaj Parikshit. Maybe on other occasions, some other devotee might be given the position. But on this occasion, Krishna considered Shukadeva Goswami to be the most qualified to speak. So <clears throat> he, even though he didn't appear like that, he entered the assembly of sages that had gathered to witness the departure of Parikshit Maharaj from this world. You know, surrounded by a crowd of followers, women and children who gathered around him and he was very young compared to the others. But it said, Kiba Vipra Kiba Nyasi Sutra Kenanai, Ye Krishna Tattva Veta Se Guru Hai. That doesn't matter what one's social position is. If one knows Krishna, one is the guru and qualified to speak. So although these other personalities were very qualified and have spoken and did speak on other occasions to other personalities, in this particular case, Krishna wanted Shukadeva Goswami to represent him and present the teachings of Srimad Bhagavatam. Anything thank, else? Thank you very much, Robert. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the class. Um, I was wondering about uh, yeah, the understanding of everybody being a devotee and um, <clears throat> um, I was wondering in terms of uh, yeah, the consequences of uh, offending devotees um, like in the context of a you know, husband and wife relationship or you know it could be sometimes let's say the worst case scenario like physically abusive husband and wife relationship <laughs> between devotees and you know how do how do you get out of that or um, or how do you resolve like you know the the amount of offenses in one sense committed between devotees and uh, yeah just in context with what you're saying how the you know we should be respecting the devotees the servants of das and udas and in that sense sometimes we get in you know it's almost it almost feels like you should not be with a devotee if you're in such a bad situation or yeah um well if you are in a bad situation krishna will take you out of the association of devotees <clears throat> until such time as you're ready to enter the association of devotees. I'm not saying you, me, like I said, in the, I'm basically I'm 
trying to preach to myself a little bit. Jivara Subhoi Krishnara Nityadas, actually, everyone is ultimately a devotee of Krishna. Under the influence of the material energy, they may at this moment be playing as something else, you know, imagining they're, they're something else. So even ordinary people who aren't externally practicing devotional service, we have to have some respect for. What to speak of those who are actually surrendered to Krishna and are trying to advance in devotional service, come to the platform of pure devotional service. So it's... <clears throat> Um, a little difficult familiarity breeds contempt so like Arjuna is telling Krishna in Bhagavad Gita you know please forgive any offenses that I have made that I've in, in, in that in taking you as a friend or a relative I may have overstepped you know the bounds of propriety so it's it's true that you know in in terms of personal relationship between whether it's husband and wife or guru or disciple or one devotee and another you know, some familiarity may breed some contempt. And that's why, I mean, Srila Prabhupada said in, in the course of these conversations I mentioned in, in my talk here, that he said, therefore, we address each other as Prabhu, as Master. And he said we should really mean it. Not that we just say, oh, Prabhu, Prabhu this, Prabhu that. Actually, so have to see each other as Master and you know, behave accordingly. And, you know, that's a, I mean, the tendency in the material world is to try to dominate, control, and exploit others in various subtle and gross ways. So the, the remedy for this is actual humility. You know, to see oneself as, you know, the servant of others. You know, Trinata Pisanichena Tura Pisishana Manina Manadena Kirtaniya Sadahari. So <clears throat> it's not easy, but that's part of part of our practice of devotional service to gradually come to understand our position. Tandara Charana Seva Bhaktisani Vas. That's why we have an association of devotees so that we can learn how to properly interact with others. And that's our training for entering 
Krishna's association. If we learn how to properly respect Krishna's devotees, then we'll become qualified to enter Krishna's eternal pastimes with his eternal associates on the spiritual platform. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai.